Hello beautiful soul, it's Shandy, and on this fine day, I'm gonna be showing you how to knit this absolutely gorgeous mantle mist cape pattern. Or is it a poncho, or is it a cardigan? You get to decide. This gorgeous mantle mist pattern by Janica Carter can be downloaded at expressionfiberarts.com and we're gonna put the direct link to it in the description for you as well as to the yarn that we use for it. So you can head there and check that out. This versatile pattern is a simple four row repeat. That is it. And it consists of pretty much just knits and pearls. So if you can do a knit stitch and a purl stitch, you are golden. It's actually just rectangles. It is very simple and straightforward. So it is really, really great. Even if you're a beginner and even if you think you can't do it, I know that you can. It really is that simple. It is one size fits most, but should you want to adjust the size, it's really easy to adjust the panels since they are just rectangles. Now you have a couple of different options with this pattern. You can wear it like a cape, just like we're showing with the sides open, or you can seam up the sides, leaving a space for your arms, and it's gonna be more like a flowy cardigan if you like that. Or you can seam up the front, leaving a space for your head to come through. Just rotate it a little bit when you wear it, and it will be a gorgeous poncho. So it's completely up to you, however you prefer to wear it. Another thing I love about this pattern is that it is great for so many different occasions. You could wear it as a beach cover-up. You could take it with you in summer when you're going indoors and the air conditioner is blasting. You could also wear it as a layering piece for fall or winter, it would be so super cute. So there's just lots of different options and you get to choose however you prefer to wear it. I think it's gonna carry you through all the seasons and you're just gonna reach for it again and again. The yarn that we chose to use for this pattern is our Luster Sport Weight yarn. It's got superwash merino wool and lyocell, so it has a gorgeous structure, but also a really beautiful drape and a gorgeous sheen. So all of your projects will have just a subtle little glow to them. It's very soft. It's great for everything from baby blankets to sweaters, accessories, shawls, you name it. The color that we, wait, what is it? Oh, the kit that we used for this particular pattern is our hand-dyed Lilo Hughes kit, which is a beautiful teal to gray gradient, and it is just, Oh, and real quickly, should you ever see a color mentioned in our videos but not see it on the site, just feel free to email us and we'll see what we can do. Now, in addition to the yarn, you're also gonna need US size five 24 inch circular knitting needles. You're gonna need some scrap yarn or some kind of stitch holder to hold some stitches on. You'll also need stitch markers, darning needle, and some scissors. So to make this pattern, what you do is create two front panels and then you join them together and then you knit the back in one piece. For the first front panel, you're gonna start by casting on 130 stitches. I'm just gonna do a little demo today, so I'm just gonna cast on 13. For the border, you're just going to knit garter stitch for six rows. So that just means that you're going to knit every stitch, every row for six rows. For the body, here are the four rows that you're gonna repeat for the entire pattern. The first row of your four row repeat is super simple. You're just gonna knit every stitch all the way across. So nice, easy row to get you started. Now what we're gonna do when we work the second row, go ahead and turn. This is up to you, but you can use stitch markers if you like to help distinguish your border. If you wanna use stitch markers, go ahead and knit three, two, three, and place a stitch marker. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. You can use little hair bands, scrap pieces of yarn, anything just to mark that those three stitches are your border. Now you're gonna pull your yarn to the front and you're gonna go ahead and purl each stitch all the way across until you have three stitches left and those three stitches are gonna be your border on the other side. And again, if you like, if it helps you keep track of that border, you can place another stitch marker there. To finish off this row, you're going to knit those final three stitches. Go ahead and turn again. 
Now to work row three of the four row repeat. Go ahead and knit those first three stitches to form your border on the side. Slip your stitch marker from your left needle onto your right needle. And this is another super simple row. You're actually just going to knit every stitch all the way across. When you come to your next stitch marker, pass it from your left needle to your right needle and knit those final three stitches. So that was just knit every stitch across. Go ahead and turn and let's work row four. Again, you're gonna start by knitting those first three stitches to form your border. Two, three, and slip your stitch marker. Now bring your yarn to the front and purl one, yarn to the back, knit two. And repeat that all the way across till you have four stitches left. Purl one, knit two. When you have four stitches left, you're gonna finish off that row by working a final purl one. Pass your stitch marker from your left to your right needle, and then knit those final three stitches for the border on that side. And that's what it should look like. You're just gonna repeat those four rows, changing colors as mentioned in the pattern or as desired. And you can just pull the yarn up the side. And if you're unfamiliar with that technique, we do have a video showing you how to do that if you would like to check that out. When you reach the shoulder, you're going to put those live stitches onto a stitch holder or just some scrap yarn and set that aside. Then you're gonna repeat all of that again to create your second front panel. When you're ready to join them together, it couldn't be simpler. You're going to take the piece that you set aside and place those stitches back onto your needle. Then you're going to knit all the way across both panels, connecting them with a knit two together. Let me show you what that looks like. Here's the first front panel that I made and set aside, and here is the second one which is still on the needle. What you need to do is take this first panel and slide it back onto your needle. And I'm just going to put it onto the opposite needle from where my current piece is. Slide those stitches from your stitch holder, bloop and bloop, and you're done with your stitch holder. I'm gonna slide that all the way around. Now it should look like this. What you're gonna do to join them is knit all the way across, working a knit two together to join the panels and continue knitting all the way across the second panel. When you reach the two stitches that you're wanting to join together, you're just gonna go ahead and knit two together and you have now successfully joined your panels. And there you go. Your two front panels are joined and now you can start working the back. And then you're good to go to repeat those same four rows for the entire back panel. The back panel is double the width of the two front panels and it's just worked all in one piece. For the final border, you're gonna work garter stitch for six rows, just like you did at the beginning. So just knit every stitch for six rows and then bind off loosely. For more free knit and crochet patterns, as well as coupon codes to our shop, sign up to our happy positive newsletter on the site and I will personally email you when all the fun stuff goes live. And remember today to find time to do what you love because, and I believe this wholeheartedly when you carve out space and time to fill yourself up and make sure that your heart is happy and glowing and that you are at your best then you have so much more to give others than when you are drained and exhausted thank you with my whole heart for joining me today be sure to check back next friday for something new and exciting and you go out and have a precious beautiful day ta-ta for now